Hello AP Fix One, this is Mr. Ng um, with a tutorial on the second page of your momentum packet. This is all about um, collisions and explosions. Um, and this first collision is going to be inelastic. So if you recall, in an inelastic collision, momentum is conserved, but energy is not. You know, this page doesn't really talk about the energy not being conserved, but whatever. Let's go through it. Part A, identify the system by drawing a dotted circle around the truck and the car. Um, here you go. The system is both the truck and the car, meaning the momentum is going to be conserved. If it was just the car or just the um, truck, then the changes in momentum are going to be seen as an external impulse. But thankfully, it's both the truck and the car, so the momentum is conserved. Good. Uh, recall that if you go this way, it's um, positive. If you go this way, it's negative, right? With number line stuff. So here, uh, let's diagram the, uh, the situation. Diagram cars A initial momentum. We have a mass of one. I'm going to be lazy and make one, one. And V, uh, let's just do an even number of uh, four, right? So here, this is the momentum of the car. Notice that I made it negative. Good. And then for the truck, it's 3M, so I'm going to have to have an x-axis of 3. And it's positive by V, and I already made V4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So here, this is going to be um, the momentum for the truck. So now it's just the difference in momentum. So uh, 3 times 4 is 12, a positive 12. This is a negative 4. So we're going to end up with positive 8. And the total mass is going to be 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Why is the total mass 4? Because the two cars stick together. And if it's got to be 8, 4 times 2 is 8. Does that make sense? So this is a positive 8. If you need a unit, it's kilogram meters per second. But, you know, it's all. There's no units here, really. It's just random letters. Good. So here, uh, what do we show? We showed the conservation of momentum. Even though this is an um, inelastic collision, momentum is basically always conserved if you choose the right system. So here, momentum is conserved. Good. Part C is a little bit different. Part C is not about a collision. Instead, Part C imagines that the two cars get pressed together with a spring between them and they explode away from each other. So a collision occurs when two things uh, bounce into each other. An explosion means that uh, all objects are escaping from a central point, all right? Uh, it doesn't always have to be the center of mass, it's just some sort of point where they all escape from. So here, if you notice, the original mass is still four, so here it is, but they're not moving anymore, right? Initially, we imagine them just kind of stuck together on a spring, so the initial momentum for this is zero. And now let's do a random momentum. Let's just bounce the car back to where it was coming from. All right. um, oh, uh, let's make it positive this time, right? Because the car is going to go to the right. So let's just make it three. Ignore this line here. Get out of here, line. Good. And then the truck. And here's the kicker. Um, in an explosion, momentum is also conserved, right? Meaning these two momentums, the momentum between the car and the truck, they need to cancel each other out. So the truck is three times the mass, so I gotta make it a little bit wider. And look, I need to give it the same area. So when they explode, the truck is gonna go um, slower, right? It's got a big M and a small V. And here, the car's got a little M but a big V, right? But ultimately, their two momentums will cancel out. In terms of energy, that means all the initial energy was in the spring constant, right? The two cars were pressed together and there was a spring that was um, sticking them together. And now all the energy is in um, K, where there's the K of the truck and then there's the K, the kinetic energy of the car. And why did I make the kinetic energy of the car much greater? because the car was faster, right? And if you remember, K is equal to 1 half mv squared. V matters more. Let's just plug in those random numbers, right? 
the kinetic energy of the car is one half times one times three squared, which is 4.5. The kinetic energy of the truck is one half times three times one squared, which is basically um, 1.5, right? So 1.5 versus one, two, three, four. Oops, I, I made it too tall. Right here. Yeah. yeah. Eh. Okay. So um, now these two energies, these two energies should be conserved. So I should get it all the way up here. Okay. The energy is conserved in an explosion. Finally, one last little exercise on part D. This one's super easy. It just says that what if there were two cars that were identical and they hit each other? from two different directions so uh three and one and then three and one and i have them in opposite directions because well that's what it says right they're, they're coming towards each other in opposite directions so this is from the positive direction it's from the negative direction oh look what happens momentum becomes zero meaning they'll smack each other and then they'll stop this is a fancy thing that only occurs when you have the same masses Later on, when we do our lab, um, you'll find that when they have different masses, um, it becomes kind of unpredictable. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. You guys are doing a great job. I'm really, really proud of you.